Hello guys, welcome to the Simply Code programming channel. This is Vikesh and let's get started with today's topic which is about unary operators. So when we talk about unary operators, technically they are also arithmetic operators but they provide us a shorthand or they have a more advanced meaning. So if you see on the screen, these are the unary operators. We call them as unary plus, unary minus, increment operator, decrement operator and logical complement operator. So when we talk about the unary plus operator, basically it is used to indicate a positive value. So whatever value you are having, it will just make that number as positive number. You might be wondering that this plus has an addition meaning as well, right? Which we saw in the previous example. Yes, that's correct. But when we use that addition symbol, we use that between two variables. But when we talk about unary operators, they are used with a single variable. That is why the name unary, because they are used with a single variable. They require only one operand. So unary plus basically makes any number positive. Unary minus negates an expression and makes that number negative. Increment operator increments the value by plus one. Decrement operator decreases the value by minus one. And logical complement operator inverts the value of the expression from true to false or false to true. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So I have created a class here called unary demo and I have a static void main method here and I have created a variable called result and the first example is about using unary plus. So I'm creating a, a variable called as result, assigning the value as one and just putting one plus in front of it which makes this as positive value. Though we can argue that this also has the same effect as this and yes that is true. But in case if this value was written as something like minus one instead of plus, then we could basically make that number positive by just putting plus in front of it. So that's basically the power of unary operators and that's how you generally use unary operators. So I'll just put it back to plus one. The next example is about decrement operators. So the current value of result was one because we did this. Now we are saying result minus minus which means whatever the value of result is, just decrement it by one. So the current value was one. So now the new value of result after this evaluation becomes zero. So at line 14, we print the current value of result, which is zero. Moving on at line 16, we are using the increment plus plus operator here, which means whatever the current value of result is, just increment it by one. So the current value of result was zero till this line. So it becomes one because this means increment by one. So line 18 will basically print that value one. And then at line 20, I'm using the unary minus operator, which means whatever the value of result is, just negate it, just put a negative in front of it, just make that number negative. So if I just say minus result, the current value of result was one. So it became minus one. And then to showcase the negation operation, I created a Boolean variable, named it as success, assigned the value of this variable as false and printed the value of success variable as is first and then printed the value of success with a negation in front of it with an exclamation mark, which will basically flip the value or invert the value of a Boolean variable. So if this was false, line 28 should print true if this was true, line 28 should print false. In this case, this is false. So the line 28 should print true. So let's right click on this and run this program and see if we get the expected output. And yes, we see the output here. So let's try to interpret the output now. The line 10 should print one. Yes, the line 14 should print zero. We see zero here. Line 18 should print one because we use the increment plus plus. So zero plus one became one. Then we use the unary minus operator. So the value should become minus one. Yes, we see minus one here. And then for Boolean variable, we should see first the false because the value is printed as is. And then we are printing a negated value. So we should flip the value from false to true. And yes, it is printing the value as true. So this was about unary operators. Now, when we talk about this increment and decrement operators, 
what if i put this particular value in front of result what effect is that going to happen let's analyze that part as well so for that i have prepared a separate demo again i've created a class called pre post demo and it has a public static void main method i'm declaring an integer variable i with the value as 3 so the i becomes 3 here and then i'm saying i plus plus as we have already seen in the unary demo example this should increment the value of 3 to 4 so it will print 4 expected right then at line number 9 i am putting this plus plus in front of i now what will happen now it is going to increment the value of i and then basically assigning the value of i so the whole difference between i plus plus and plus plus i is that in this case the value of i is assigned first and increment later in this case the value of i is incremented first and assigned later so here the value from 4 becomes 5 so at at line 11 if you see if we print i it will print 5 because we have we are saying that first increment the value and then update the value of i so increment happens on i equal to 4 and i becomes 5 at line number 13 it it becomes more interesting because here inside the system dot out dot print ln statement itself i'm saying plus plus i now what will happen like i explained first the value will be incremented and then the value will be assigned so before printing the value is getting incremented so the value from 5 becomes 6 here at line 13 but if i try to do this now i'm saying first assign the value of i and then increment it so i at this line is still 6 because i has already been assigned 6 and as the post increment says if you put this plus plus after the variable it means that you are first assigning the value and then incrementing the value so anything which happens after line 15 the value of i will become 7 but at line 15 the value of i is still 6 because we are using a post increment operator so the value is still assigned to i as is and then incremented and when we do system dot out dot print ln the assigned value is printed not the incremented value so like i said after line 15 the value of i will become incremented by 1 and it will become 7 so hope you understood this example or and the difference between the pre increment and post increment remember the thumb rule that if we put plus plus before a variable like at line number 9 the value will be incremented first and then assigned so at line 13 the updated value will be printed because the first we are doing the increment and then we are printing the value or assigning the value similarly at line 15 we are first printing the value and then incrementing the value so when the value is printed at line 15 the old value of i will be printed but after line 15 the new value of i will be accessible to the program so let's right click on this and run this program and now if we see the values we assigned i to 3 we did a post increment here so i becomes 4 we print the value of i so here the value of i is 4 you see 4 here then at line line 9 uh, uh, we are saying plus plus i so 4 plus 1 becomes 5 though this is a pre increment but since we are not printing this plus plus i as is it does not have any any change so the value of 4 becomes 5 at line 11 we print 5 then at line 13 we are saying plus plus i which means increment the value of i first and then assign it so the value of 5 becomes 6 and then i gets updated and printed similarly at line 15 first the value of i is assigned and printed and then incremented so at line 15 the value is still 6 you see this 6 here and then the value is incremented so after line 15 the value becomes 7 so that's how we are basically using the unary operators and this is where i would like to end this particular session in the next session we will be discussing about other type of operators which are comparison operators and logical operators etc if you enjoyed this video a thumbs up would be massively appreciated and don't forget to subscribe to simply code for more programming related videos thank you and we'll meet again in the next lecture